The bridge passing through the clouds and mist is the Beipanjiang Bridge, which is the highest bridge in the world. After the bridge was completed, it won the Nobel Prize in the bridge industry and was included in the world record of the world's tallest bridge. The whole bridge looks magnificent, perfectly combined with the beauty of nature. Driving a car on a bridge is like being in another world. The entire bridge is 1,341 meters long, and the vertical height from the bridge deck to the river is about 570 meters. The whole New York World Trade Center can be accommodated under the bridge. The two huge bridge towers adopt an H-shaped design, and it is also one of the longest cable-stayed bridges in the world. After the bridge is completed, it will connect Yunnan, Guizhou, greatly improving people's living conditions. The Nizhou River Grand Canyon is a beautiful landscape, but it is also a natural barrier to hinder traffic. Before the bridge was built, the only road here was the winding mountain road. It takes five hours to drive, and the mountain road is very dangerous, seriously affecting the local economic development. So there is an urgent need to build such a canyon bridge to solve the traffic problem. When the bridge was built, it was also very difficult, because it was a world precedent to build a bridge over such a deep canyon. It is even more difficult to transport the concrete from the bottom to the top. Since the canyon is too deep to build a temporary scaffold for the bridge deck, this is a huge challenge for the engineers who designed the bridge. Most types of long-span bridges are built with support anchors embedded in the rock, and the curved shape of the bridge causes it to move sideways when under pressure. Suspension bridges, on the other hand, have two cables hanging from the deck, and huge anchors are also needed to keep the bridge from collapsing. But the surrounding rock is soft and prone to landslides, and there are many hidden caves and crevices. The only option is to build a bridge that doesn't require anchor support, and that is to build an oversized cable-stayed bridge. The Bipanjiang Bridge took more than three years to complete. Engineers need to make sure that the bridge is safe enough, because there will be a lot of heavy trucks passing over the bridge in the future. When heavy vehicles pass over the bridge, if the bridge deck is not strong enough, it will sag. If this happens repeatedly, it will cause the bridge deck to break. So preventing the bridge deck from buckling will be a very serious challenge. The solution is to build a special bridge deck structure. Designers used simulations to demonstrate how this particular deck structure works. First, two pieces of paper are supported as a bridge deck, and then after weight is applied to the paper, the bridge deck collapses instantly. You will still use these two pieces of paper, but fold the bottom piece of paper into the shape of the bottom of the bridge deck, and you can see that its shape has changed. It will not easily bend when it bears heavy objects again, and longitudinal beams are also added at the bottom of the bridge to bear more gravity. The Bipanjiang Bridge will be the tallest in the world after its construction. According to statistics, the number of bridges in Guizhou has reached more than 20,000, covering almost all bridge types in the world today. Among the top 100 bridges in the world, more than 80 are from China, more than half of which is from Guizhou. Bridges not only shorten the distance between two places, but also shorten the distance between people. This is a 343-meter-high bridge that can withstand winds of 250 km per hour and has a service life of 120 years. The bridge is located in China, and to build the bridge, engineers need to overcome various difficulties. The first is to build seven huge piers. The highest pier is 245 meters high and a 36,000 tons bridge deck will be laid on the piers. Finally, seven bridge towers weighing 700 tons will be erected. This kind of construction difficulty was unprecedented at the time, and they only had a four-year construction period. 
If they were delayed, they would have to pay liquidated damages of $30,000 per day. So in 2001 years, the bridge officially broke ground. Workers first needed to make a solid foundation for these massive piers. Since the mountains here are all loose limestone, the structure is very unstable. So it is necessary to dig down four deep pits with a diameter of 5 meters and a depth of 18 meters based on the rock formation. Then erect steel bars inside and pour concrete. And finally pour the with a 6 meter thick concrete floor. The pouring of the bridge piers can begin. However, to prevent cracks from occurring during the pouring process, which would affect the strength of the pier, engineers used a special mold that can be continuously climbed by hydraulic devices for construction. After 24 hours of uninterrupted pouring, the poured concrete is added with special additives, so that the concrete can be quickly solidified. This method of concrete pouring, also known as the slip forming method, is also the fastest way to pour large concrete buildings. However, since the shape of each pier is a complex geometric shape, and it gradually becomes thinner from bottom to top, the workers need to adjust the size of the mold every time they pour a section of the pier, which also brings great difficulties to the workers on site. Workers need to make adjustments every three days, and they must also ensure that the vertical error of the seven piers cannot exceed two centimeters after completion. To this end, engineers used an advanced GPS positioning system, and more than 300 sophisticated sensors, some of which were cast directly into the concrete piers, and others were fixed to the surrounding rock. During the pouring process, every time the piers rise by 4 meters, they will use the positioning system to correct possible deviations, and even slight changes caused by strong winds or temperature can be detected. In the end, it took a year to complete all seven piers, and after the completion, the error of the piers was controlled within two centimeters. Next, engineers will face greater challenges, that is how to manufacture the huge bridge deck, which is 25 kilometers long, and weighs 36,000 tons, and how to lay the bridge deck on the bridge piers with a span of 304 meters. The video of this issue is over here. If you have any opinions on China's bridge construction technology, please leave a message to tell us. In the next issue, we will share with you the most simple and elegant sky bridge in the world.